What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best video games that I played in 2021. Let's get right into this. So I do this video every year and this year in my opinion is the best. There's a lot of great games that I played this past year and I've had a lot of free time due to the pandemic because I never got called back to work until August. So from January to August, I was gaming very, very heavily. Now again, I do this video every year because I do like to share the games that I played in the past year. But once again, not all of these games came out in 2021. They're just games that I played the most of in 2021 and had a lot of fun with. So I decided to share it in this video for you guys. Now up first is a really criticized game, but I absolutely love the story. And that is Marvel's Avengers. Absolutely love this game. I love all of the Marvel games. They're just so creative. The story for this one is just amazing. It's one of the best Marvel stories that I've played. Absolutely love it. Now some of the mechanics, for example, Iron Man when he's flying is a little awkward. And some of the other stuff like Thor, if you have a trigger finger, you can literally throw Thor's hammer like throw, retrieve, throw, retrieve, throw, retrieve. So you can definitely take out enemies a lot quicker, especially some of the bigger robots and stuff. But it definitely is hilarious because that's just awkward mechanics. But the story, the campaign, everything else is a lot of fun. And I definitely recommend this game if you find it on sale in the PlayStation Store or out at EB Games or GameStop. I recommend picking it up. It is a great game. Next up is Apex Legends. This game has been on my list for years because ever since it came out in I believe 2019, it's been a game that me and Jack played all the time and we absolutely love it. Now that Jack is working a lot and he's focused on school, his life's getting busier, I decided to get back into this game on my own, try to finish off a lot of the trophies that I didn't have and try to play the game, just have fun with it. And I got a lot of wins and it ended up getting all of the trophies for this game. Now, however, the only downfall is there's no platinum for the game, but even though I have all of the trophies, I still play this game to this day because it's a lot of fun. If you just have a couple minutes and I'm like, you know what, I wanna play a couple rounds of Apex, it's fun just to go and play the game even though I'm playing it by myself now. It's still just that fun of game. Next up is Battlefield 5. I absolutely love Battlefield over Call of Duty because Battlefield has the larger maps and playing it is more strategic rather than Call of Duty shorter maps and it's kind of like a shoot and pray type thing. Just pull the trigger and hope that you get kills. Um, and it's a lot more fast paced where Battlefield you might be a while till you find an enemy But then you can strategically shoot them if you're a sniper or different things like that Which I usually focus on being a sniper So it's a lot of fun I actually picked up this game once again started getting back into it because I realized I only had three trophies to get the platinum One of the trophies was a glitchy trophy that I ended up just popping one day whenever I got back into it and the other two trophies are to level up my classes and my player so now I'm just grinding out the game, playing it a ton, and no, I know I'm gonna get the Platinum very, very soon, and that is something that's really exciting for me. The great, great game, I absolutely loved it. The story was very fascinating. Online is a lot of fun, even though it's a game that I don't play with anybody, because if you played with somebody on the mic, it'd be even more strategic. You can say, hey, go around this way, I'm gonna go this way. A lot more fun, even though I don't have anybody to play with. I'm playing it by myself, it's still a lot of fun. Next up is Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a game that came out free for PlayStation Now. A lot, a lot of fun, but it was only free for four months on PlayStation Now, and then it disappeared. So instead of me going and buying this game, something that I didn't know if I'd play it very much, since it was free for four months, I took advantage of it. I played mainly the story, and I absolutely loved the train heist and some of the other aspects of it. This game was a lot of fun. Definitely was better getting it on PlayStation Now, even though it was only for four months rather than purchasing it because it was a game that I always play a game or I'll, I'll always get a game and then put it on the back burner and play something else for a while and then go back to it. So now that I had it for four months, I played it for a majority of that four months, had enough of it, I played it, I enjoyed it. Now that it's not available to me, I'm okay with not playing it anymore. Next up is the final season of Telltale The Walking Dead. I purchased this, I think, at the end of last year because it was on sale. Completely forgot about it in my backlog. Seen it one day, decided to go through play it. 
The story was amazing. You finally close the chapter with Clementine. You finally see what happens. At the end, there's a huge cliffhanger, but no spoilers. It all works out. It was amazing. I love the Telltale games. I am kind of sad that they are out of business. They're bankrupt. They are no more. But some of the other games that they do still have out are still a lot of fun, even though some are starting to be glitchy. It's a lot of fun just to go through. You can get a platinum out of it, but the story is just amazing. They did a lot of great work for it. Next up is Black Ops 4, a Call of Duty game which I haven't played Call of Duty in years. This was a game that was free for PS Plus, which is the only reason I got back into a Call of Duty game because like I said earlier, I've always picked Battlefield over Call of Duty. It just so happens that this was free for PS Plus. I wasn't paying for the game, it was online only, which was a huge disappointment, and when I got back into it, I had a lot of great aspects to it, but I remember why I didn't play Call of Duty much anymore, because it was just too fast-paced and not really strategic, which is what I love. And there's no campaign on Black Ops 4, so I always liked Call of Duty just mainly for the campaign. There's no campaign, so I only got to play it while it was free, uh, since it was free for PS Plus. It's still a decent game, and I'm glad I got a chance to play a Call of Duty game, and I had fun with it, but definitely not something I would have purchased on my own. And the last PlayStation game is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Like I said at the beginning of this video with Avengers, I absolutely love any of the Marvel games. I remember playing the first Spider-Man game on the PS4. It was absolutely a lot of fun. I love the mechanics. I love the story. This game here, same exact thing. It just focuses on Miles Morales instead of... Peter Parker, game was a lot of fun. It's not a continuation of the first game. It is just a solo game, in my opinion, that follows Miles Morales. There's rumored to be a second game in the future that follows Peter Parker, but this game here was awesome. I love the mechanics just like it was before. I love the story. Everything about the Marvel games is amazing, and I honestly can't wait to soon get Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, even though it only focuses on Star-Lord. I can't wait to get into that game and play it. I would rather it if it was like Avengers where you can choose one of the other characters to play as. You only get to play as Star-Lord. Still going to be fun. Still going to be a great game. But that would be a lot better if you could change it up and change the characters like you did in Avengers. Now those are all of the PlayStation games that I'm going to be talking about. So the other games are going to be the Nintendo Switch games. Back in May for my 25th birthday, my girlfriend bought me the Nintendo Switch and I absolutely love playing it. It's something that we get to play together, and it's absolutely a lot of fun. There's a Mario game where we have Super Mario Party, which is a lot of fun to just sit back, relax, and play that game. And we also have Mario Kart 8, which is a lot of fun as well. Even more so, I like that the Switch has some of the classics for the NES, so I can go and play Kirby's Adventures once again, which is always a lot of fun. So I definitely like Obviously, my main console is the PlayStation 4, but I love having a Nintendo Switch. Not only is it a Nintendo, something I haven't had since I think I was in the 8th grade, something like that, when I had a Nintendo DS, but something fun that me and my girlfriend can play together is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I talk about the best games that I played in 2021. Comment down below what were some of the games that you loved that you played this past year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.